Hello, everyone! When you were a kid, you probably dreamed about flying cars, floating cities, and a little house on the moon. Well, no need to hide it. We keep dreaming about it today. And the good news is, these fantasies may come true. Today, we're going to show you the most ambitious projects from modern inventors that could become real very soon. Let's get it on. Supersonic fighter jets are flying all over the world today. But what about supersonic passenger planes? This is a very complicated topic. You probably heard about the innovative Concorde project, which existed until the beginning of the 21st century. But the high costs and safety problems have constantly complicated the operation of such class aircrafts. And the terrible Concorde jet crash in 2000 ended the whole story. A similar project, the TU-144, also closed because of its high cost and a large number of accidents. Since then, nobody in the world has dared to launch a supersonic passenger airliner into the sky. But instead of an airplane for 150 passengers, why not make one for 15? So here it is, a business jet that is indistinguishable from a fighter jet. The designers of the American company Arion have been trying to implement this awesome idea for many years. They offer several original solutions. For example, three engines instead of two. In addition, Arion engineers have developed a special wing shape that is unlike any other and has been tested in the NASA wind tunnel. Now for the most important part, speed. Imagine you're a hotshot businessman and need to get from Tokyo to New York in a hurry. On a regular business jet, it takes about 15 hours. On an Arion business jet, it's nine and a half, including a stopover. All thanks to a top speed of 1,180 miles per hour. But you should keep in mind that this airplane can't go that fast everywhere, because all countries prohibit supersonic flights over densely populated areas. But you can fly over the ocean as fast as you want. Perhaps we will have a new holiday destination unlocked very soon. The American company Space Perspective recently revealed the concept for the spaceship Neptune passenger capsule that will be lifted into the stratosphere on a hot air balloon. Here are its specifications. The capsule has a striking spherical shape which provides passengers with an excellent panoramic view. In addition, it's equipped with an unusual cone at the base. Can you guess what it's for? According to the creators, this element will help make the landing in the ocean smoother and safer. Inside, the capsule is equipped with a toilet, a living room with a telescope, and interactive screens, and enough space to accommodate eight tourists and a pilot. The good news is that flight should start in a couple of years, so you can start saving $125,000. Now, for a moment, let's transport ourselves to the Star Wars universe. Which isn't as far, far away from us as it seems. Have you ever heard of the Stanford Taurus? It's a big donut-shaped space station project. In theory, this station could become a real space settlement capable of accommodating 10,000 to 140,000 inhabitants. Over the past 50 years, many have dreamed of bringing this project to life, especially the California-based company Gateway Spaceport LLC. These guys are thinking positively and hope to open a similar port station by 2030. The construction process will take place right in outer space. There's an architectural firm in Argentina, Graph3D, that develops renderings and concepts for buildings of the future. Look at the cool hotel they designed for Dubai. Would you stay in such one? With its performance and design, the Megaloo M5 is sure to impress all fans of luxury cruising. And now for the best part, 
This yacht is not only capable of covering enormous distances in the water, it can also dive to a depth of 985 feet. Besides, it can stay underwater for up to four weeks. That is, you can swim across the Atlantic, never once rising to the surface, and have breakfast surrounded by strange fish and beautiful coral reefs every day. And if you get bored, you can always go upstairs and turn the submarine again into a multi-level yacht with a pool, a cinema, a helipad, a spa, a beach club, and lots of water activities. You probably know that in the last century, designers from all over the world worked hard on creating airships. Their time was short-lived, mostly for technical reasons. But now, nearly a hundred years later, airship projects are finally being revived. And we are particularly impressed by this one. You're looking at a luxury cruise airship with a dining area, a bar, a kitchen, passenger rooms, and a large lounge inside. In short, it looks as cool as a business jet. And the airship is powered by inert helium instead of cheap hydrogen, as it used to be. So, everything will be okay with flight safety. This new generation airship from the British company Varialift may not look like a five-star hotel, but it can carry heavy loads. So far, two models are being developed, the ARH-50 and the ARH-250. Their main difference is the payload capacity, 50 and 250 tons, respectively. The latter is almost twice as much as the payload of the Boeing 747. What brings these two models together is the cool fuselage made of high-quality aluminum, the use of solar energy, and a spectacular vertical takeoff. In addition, these airships will use up to 90% less fuel than conventional cargo planes. This kind of transportation will cost about the same as freight or railroad transportation, but airships will be able to reach places where there are no roads or infrastructure for airports. What happens if you combine the Titanic with the Hindenburg airship? Apparently, this is what the creators of this flying hotel thought and decided not to put it off for too long. This is, perhaps, the first ever flying hotel in the world where up to 5,000 people can live simultaneously. The main feature of the Air Hotel is a large hall with a 360-degree view. Just imagine the sights you'll get to see during a low flight over the Amazon, the Grand Canyon, or any major cities. In addition, the Panoramic Lounge has an elevator that leads to another interesting location, the main entertainment deck. Here you'll find swimming pools, restaurants, bars, gyms, playgrounds, recreational centers, and even movie theaters. And for those traveling for a special occasion, there are party halls with luxurious decorations. You can have an unforgettable wedding, especially since there's no turbulence at all thanks to a special stabilization mechanism. You're probably wondering how much fuel this huge thing is going to consume. But don't worry, the creators of the Air Hotel have taken care of everything. The airship will be equipped with 20 electric motors, which will be powered by a nuclear reactor. And that means that the hotel can operate continuously and stay in the air for several years. And if any supplies run out, a specialized airliner can always bring them to the hotel. The same arrangement will be used for checkout and check-in. Urban transport is also getting cool innovations. In the Arab Emirates, for example, the world's first unmanned mobile modules have already been tested. Residents can call for it via a special mobile app. One module accommodates 10 passengers, and cars can connect to each other and separate at any point of the route in a few seconds. And most importantly, the modules do not use fuel but run on battery power. However, the autonomy is quite limited, up to three hours, and recharging requires twice as much. Yeah, almost like your smartphone. It's a pity that they haven't invented a compact power bank for such situations. Look how fast that cargo ship Argo is going!
In the future, this development could revolutionize the transportation market. Just imagine, it delivers heavy loads almost four times faster than a conventional ferry. In addition, this vessel is as fast as an aircraft, but it does not emit harmful carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Moreover, it's two times cheaper than air cargo. A company from Finland has also come up with a solution for modernizing the maritime freight market, and it's a bold one at that. According to their idea, cargo ships are to be remotely controlled and their maintenance will be fully automated with the help of artificial intelligence. In addition, transportation can also take place underwater. These vehicles consume less energy, and in order to recharge, they can surface and restore their hydrogen supply on specially built artificial islands. And of course, the entire transportation cycle should use only alternative energy. And ships will no longer be bought, but leased instead. Looks like we can forget about the search for the mysterious Atlantis, because soon we will have our own underwater city. At least the heads of the Japanese company assure us that their project Ocean Spiral is very promising and will be implemented in the next 15 years. From above, the settlement looks like a 1,640-foot sphere, but it's more interesting to see what is below. This floating island is attached to the seabed thanks to a 9.3-mile spiral structure. Up to 5,000 residents will be able to live in this city, which will have not only housing, but also office buildings, shopping centers, entertainment venues, and scientific laboratories. However, the project will cost as much as $26 billion. But that's not all the ideas we have from Japan. The same company has come up with another promising project, a floating city. Most of its living space will be located in a single building, a giant tower about 3,200 feet high. So it'll be higher than the Burj Khalifa skyscraper, which still has no rivals in the world. The tower will be able to accommodate about 30,000 people, not bad for a small city. The giant building will be standing on a huge base that resembles a water lily, and those who do not want to live in a skyscraper will be able to stay in mansions in the coastal area. And of course, this futuristic city will produce minimal harmful emissions. Everything here will be powered by the sun, the wind, and the waves. To ensure that natural disasters do not disrupt the quiet way of life on the floating island, the creators plan to choose a quiet place without the risk of typhoons or strong winds. To be more respectful of nature, we need to take inspiration from it. That's what Airbus aircraft designers thought when they came up with this aircraft. When designing the Bird of Prey, engineers were inspired by eagles and falcons, just like Leonardo da Vinci a few centuries ago. This increases the maneuverability of the craft many times over. Plus, the plane will fly on hybrid electric propulsion, which means that the flights will be more environmentally friendly and quieter. There's a little more about its characteristics. Since it appears that we won't be colonizing Mars anytime soon, let's think of plans to colonize the Moon. Look at the idea to create a small village on Earth's satellite that's already being discussed by scientists. The specialists chose the south pole of the Moon to build the settlement, as there are a lot of materials for research and sunlight there, which can be used as a source of energy. The settlers will live in inflatable capsules. There will be four-story residential modules that have everything for comfortable living, including handrails and other features that allow people to quickly move through space in a low-gravity environment. You can comfortably live in one module for up to 300 days. By the way, do you know who will inflate these houses? The rovers that'll be dispatched from that donut station in lunar orbit. There are a huge number of places in the world where not only an ordinary car, but also a powerful off-road vehicle cannot pass. Usually, ATVs are used, although sometimes they can fail. But here's something that will cope. The Elevate. Engineers of the company have invented a vehicle with legs, which reminds us of the drone from the latest Star Wars movie. The vehicle is partially autonomous and can independently set a route and move around. 
This all-terrain vehicle can be used anywhere. For example, it'll come in handy during natural disasters when it is difficult to access places where urgent help is needed. In such cases, an important feature of the rover is useful. The ability to walk and step over fences, boulders, and other obstacles up to 5 feet high and move sideways, like a reptile. And as soon as the Elevate reaches a regular road surface, it pulls up its legs and moves like a normal car. Well, now that humanity is inventing port stations in space, underwater yachts, and air hotels, the time has finally come to turn the flying car from back to the future into reality. It seems that Californian startup Aleph Aeronautics expects to do something similar by 2025. They're optimistic, because you can already pre-order a flying car for $300,000. It's expected that the car will work on electricity and its battery will suffice for 200 miles of flight. The top speed will only be 25 miles per hour, but does that really matter when you fly to work in a stylish car above the city? Uber decided to go even further and came up with a special port where vertical launches and landings of flying vehicles will be carried out at a rate of about a thousand per hour. These flying vehicles will work autonomously because it would be very difficult to provide the company with so many pilots. It's important to understand that the port for flying cabs, unlike an ordinary airport, cannot be located outside the city, otherwise it'll defeat the whole purpose. On the other hand, there's not enough space in big cities to build an airfield. That is why Uber engineers ended up designing a 1,640-foot bridge, which does not interfere with people on the ground, and ensures smooth operation of the taxi fleet. Time to get back to the present. That's it for today, buddy. Tell us in the comments which invention you'd like to see with your own eyes. Don't forget to like the video and don't miss the next one. See you soon! Wow! You like movies but don't always find a couple of free hours? Subscribe to the Salty Popcorn channel. Here we reveal in detail the plots of the coolest films that are definitely worth seeing. Intrigued? Then we look forward to the next session. But don't forget to bring your popcorn. Enjoy watching.